Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this at all. Um, today is Sunday, the 6th of January, and we're doing a New Year's trip to... Ikea. <laughs> you were talking to me. Ikea. <laughs> Ikea. We're going to Ikea. I'm with my companion who you actually got quite a large following on my YouTube now. You know, people do quite like you. Thank you. Don't know why. But sorry, we're not very well. We've both got a bit of a cold going on. Zara more so than me, which isn't great. But we're just going to go and do a little bit of a shop. I feel like that's going to be really wobbly. Is that really wobbly? Anyway, if you could just drive a little bit more considerate for my audience. Then. Okay, yeah, great. All right. <laughs> so we're just going to go and get some little bits, like just, you know, that new year refresh. I get some stuff for some, maybe some storage solutions. Um, Zara wants some bedding. We're going to have a look in Dunelm, Ikea, maybe get some food. We're also doing vegetarian January. Vaginary. Um, Vaginary. I've called it anyway. Vaginary. Vaginary. Oh, that's, oh, that's anyway. Anyway. And we really wanted meatballs because obviously when you go to Ikea, you have meatballs like what we did in, in Stockholm. But we can't have them because we're doing vegetarian. So if I can have vegetarian food, that would be great. Anyway, that's happening. I hope you're all doing really well. I hope you're all having a very nice first week of New Year. How's your first week of New Year been? Poorly, really poorly. I actually think this might be my last first week of the New Year. To me, you're not I think gonna make I might it. Die. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pretty horrible. I hope you don't. <laughs> I hope too. you at least make it to IKEA today. That would be great. But um, yeah, you all seem to like the IKEA vlog, so I'm gonna take you along for the journey. So let's go. Yeah, I try to hold on, but it hurts too much. I try to forgive, but it's not enough to make it all okay. And that is why Zara is a great track. Oh god no. Apparently it's come to Ikea Sunday, dear, because Ikea only opened like 20 minutes ago and look, the car park is currently full, but we made it. Yeah. That's okay. This is what our adult life has came to, deciding between a yellow or a red foot still. I'm vibing more towards this, but it looks more orangey now that I'm looking at it on camera. Oh, oh well, that would explain <laughs> everything then, wouldn't it? We're dreaming of having an outside space when we move next year. They actually would. I think they're quite pricey though. Something smells like beautiful. It smells like it's very floral. Oh. We looked at these before when I came with you and every time we come to Ikea, we stop in this room. I love it. But that's a thing. Yeah, that's really nice. We're matching cushion covers to the colours of walls now. Literally, we're getting colour inspiration against the green and the gold though. It's so nice. Yeah, me too. Every time I come to Ikea, I just look at the kitchens and swing. They're just so nice. Literally. Ikea. No Ikea. All about the veggie balls. Not about the veggie balls. <laughs> you can't come to Ikea and not get the diamond cake. So these are the veggie balls that we've gone for in Ikea and this is 100% vegetarian. Vegetarian, vegetarian. We wanted the sauce but we didn't get any because it wasn't vegetarian and we're being very good. I'm going to do a review of um, Ikea's veggie meatballs for anyone who's come to Ikea and doing veganuary. I don't know if they are vegan. I can't see why they wouldn't be vegan. Maybe the mash isn't vegan. But if you were just have meatballs, it would be. Yeah. But there might be something in them. No, kale, I don't know. beans, courgette, sweet potato. Mm. Potet like, I'd rate them a 7 out of 10. They were like, okay. They were nice, weren't they? They were but, like, nice. once you've had meatballs... You can't go back. You can't go back. But I, to be honest, like, it wasn't as bad as I thought. And there's gonna be loads of vegetarians out there thinking, like, get a grip, seriously, but it was good. But we did get the dime kick, which is delicious, right? <laughs> it 
if any of you guys remember my um, Sweden vlog when I went to Stockholm, this featured heavily in it, and this is what we paid £24 for two glasses of when we went. And there's 75, 74 pence. And we're in pots and pan heaven. They're, that's more like a deep one. We need like a flat one, you know? Really we were just looking at oven trays, and these are six pounds, and I know they're really good and everything, but that's quite a lot of money, so I think we're gonna try and look elsewhere for one of them. I just had a total disaster. I thought these were 50p, which would be really good for like bacon for all my biscuits and stuff, but it turns out it's actually... Until, Until Zara turned up and said it was it was this for 50p. But these are only four, but we're gonna get them. These are nice as well. I like these. I know, I just like them. They're quite nice with the black and gold. These are so nice. They're like blush stone pink. Really, really nice. Yeah, me too. They'd be good if you just like would tea or coffee and stuff. We're in the market for a new fruit bowl, and we <laughs> looked at this it's in the market. It's very nice. <laughs> I think time. it's an MNO. I think it's an ice bucket though. And it's thirty pounds. Can we spend thirty pounds on a fruit bowl? Or enter in the plant section. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're in the frame section because we're working on our gallery wall. We've got something like this going on, but we're adding more to it. Um, IKEA have got really nice prints in though. Like these are really cool. Got all sorts of flowers. Enjoy the little things. I like that. Now, this is essentially our living room set up. I can't wait to go home and do our gallery wall now. I'm really excited. I am. We're in the mirror section. Taking a little break as you do. We we're thinking about doing a mirror gallery wall, but they're all massive. Also get me obligatory boomerang, you know? <laughs> Love it. We're eyeing up some vase situs going on, and we've ended up going for this pink one. I think this is really nice, like a little bit of pink with the orange. Not orange, sorry. Ooh. Don't know if it really goes with the vibe of the room, though. But I think this one, definitely. We've made it through the other side of Ikea, and we were looking at footstools, which yeah. I'm sure Yeah, we might come back. If any of you know where you can get footstools from, because we like the style of this, and we've obviously now got an armchair in the living room, but it's great. It's more orange. orangey. It's right? actually custom. It's orange looking a bit different on camera, but um, we kind of want something like this, but we don't know where to buy one. But if you have any recommendations At in the UK, price. around 30, 40 pounds, let me know. So we've came to Dunelm. Sarah wanted a lampshade. I needed to replace the clothes to dry and rack in our living room because I broke the last one. And we've just saw this mirror for £16. It was 20 Hi. Um, and it's got one of the, like, the leather straps, and we think that's going to look really nice in our living room. We're back from Ikea. I'm going to do a really quick haul of what we bought. It's the most uninteresting. Oh, maybe it might be, actually. I don't know. We've got a lot of bits. It came for £40, which actually isn't bad at all. So I'll show you everything we got. Sorry, we've got some cushion covers. These were how much were these? Four fifty and one seventy five. £4.50. Uh -huh. So this was £4.50. It's got its gold dots on it. It's really nice. She's redoing... She's redoing our bedroom, so, um, well, not redoing it, but, so yeah, that and that. That's like a pink colour. I like that. And then this is like a rusty blue colour. We also got one for our living room as well, because we've got this mustard one. Oh. Oh, yeah. We've got this mustard one here, but we also got another one because, um, nice, isn't it? I like it. It's more mustardy. Um, and I've got, oh, if you could see it on camera. That's nice. That's really nice. That and that was nice. £2? Something? No, 175 again. 175 again. Oh, it smells lovely, it's been near the candles. We got these, which obviously, we're going back to uni, so we thought these would be really handy. These were four pounds for 17? 17. 17 pieces of plastic Tupperware. I've seen no plastic <coughs> there, but it's got no PVC in it, or PV, PAP or something. So it actually doesn't affect the taste of food, but they're really good, obviously, for four pounds. We've got like soup things in, so they're handy. A pack of candles. These were like two pounds something for the four hour vanilla ones. We really like these, just light them on an evening for tea lights. Sorry, I feel like I'm flying through this, but really excited to put everything where it needs to be. And um, we've got picture frames. These are so cheap from IKEA. We've got like a variety of sizes. Got some like ear four ones, some regular sizes, and some small ones for the gallery wall here. We're adding some more to it, which you guys are gonna see. We bought this decanter. There we go. It's a decanter. <laughs> decanter. We've got this decanter from um the like vase section and it was like two pounds something we just thought it'd be really good to fill when we're having dinner and then you can just pour it into your glasses when you're thirsty it's just nice to have to have something on the table rather than having to keep on going and filling your glass up we've also got this tupperware box um storage box that's going to go under the stairs this is for all of our christmas decorations we did have two massive boxes under there but we also bought a lot more this year so this is just for the random last bits and bobs and then there's a little bit more. We got this vase as well. This was from 
um, Ikea. Ikea. Why am I saying it's from <laughs> Ikea? We're all still from Ikea. This was uh, four pounds, I think, and it was really nice. Um, probably gonna put this either like on the coffee table or near us. Zara bought some new white bedding, um, which was really cheap. How much was 13? 13. Um, for a king size fitted one um, duvet cover and two pillowcases. For 13 pounds, it's classic white bedding. I feel like that's such a good shout. And then you can just add the cushions that she's bought with it. And then the last thing we got in Ikea was this. I told you it wasn't really interesting, but this is just for our spices to get a bit more organization going on in our cupboards, which we also need to sort out. We also nipped into Dunelm and we got a couple of bits. And um, we got a drying rack, but that's not really interesting to show you guys because um, I broke the other one. So I got this for our room, which was reduced to eight pounds. It's like a nice, lovely um, tin lampshade. We've got loads in our house, but I don't know. We've got green ones in our living room and I've got a brass gold one in my bedroom. <laughs> we also got this mirror, as you guys can see the set up. There you are. And um, this was reduced to 18 pounds. 16. Was it 16? Mm -hmm. Oh, amazing. Eight pounds each. Oh, yeah. perfect. It's like a little, well, it's like actually quite a large mirror with like a hanging um, strap that we're going to put on our wall. We did have one that Zara got, but it's a tiny little bit small. So we're just going to put that in her room and then we're going to replace it with this. But that's everything we got. So now we're going to, um, Assemble our living room. Mm -hmm. Unique, um, and I remember I showed you guys the hi mm, Sarah's foot. <laughs> I remember I showed you the um, advent calendar in my gift guide. So these are all from there. Apart from this one, they're all from the advent calendar, and we've just framed some of them different sizes, just trimmed them down. But now we have to pop them on the wall, which is easier said than done because these walls are really horrible. <laughs> Right, we're done. I'll show you um, the finished result. We're really happy with this. It looks quite good. Well, I don't want to blow our own trumpets, but I actually love it. This is the finished result. We popped the chair back. I haven't showed you this chair yet, I don't think. This is our new, let me come this way. So yeah, this is our new armchair, which we really like. And then the lamp, which you guys have seen before. <laughs> which we really like. <laughs> so yeah, all of these prints are a mixture of home sense. The new additions are from Junique, and I'm going to link them down below from the advent calendar that I had. Um, and then everything else is just a mixture of stuff that I've collected along the way. I'm definitely gonna go either way bigger, but um, that's it for now. Also, this is the new vase that we got from Mikey. This is the mirror. Um, we had like a little hook already in the wall. Ideally, well, as you can see, this is what I can see. I've got to lean down a little bit. Hello. But um, this is perfect height for Zara because she's a little bit small, bless her. Um, so that's it. I really hope you've enjoyed coming to Ikea with us. I've done many an Ikea vlog, I think. Um, but if you have enjoyed it, smash that thumbs up button. Do hit subscribe and I'll see you very soon for more things. <laughs> Bye for now.